All right, guys, update on the 20 gallon long uh, reef tank. Got a few changes in here, as you can see from last video. I've added in a little bit more rock. Uh, the reason for that is I got a few more inhabitants. You see my firefish right there. Got the cardinals still in there, and I got one little uh, damsel that this uh, clownfish does not like. <laughs> But they've been in a tank for about uh, four days now. They seem to be getting along pretty good. The clownfish are uh, definitely asserting themselves in the territory there. So they go after the uh, damsel a little bit and a little bit on the firefish too. For the most part, the firefish actually just hangs out on this side of the tank. And occasionally the uh, Clowns will go after them like they're about to right now. There you go. Um, I just fed everybody and uh, actually just put this one large piece of rock, this one here, in there. So uh, they're kind of agitated to start out with here. But for the most part, they're kind of getting along. Um, when I first put the firefish in, uh, the two clowns were really going after them. Uh, but for the most part, they've kind of tended to leave them alone here. Obviously, right now, like I said, I just fed them. Just little bits of food still flying around. He actually came with his back tail there and nipped a little bit. So that is not from uh, the clownfish. He, he came that way. He was in a tank with a whole crap load of fish and uh, he was the best looking guy. Um, unfortunately, he did have that little little bite out of the back of his tail, but hopefully he recovers. The rocks here I put in, I put in this rock here to try to do a little bit more cave, you know, activity there, try to get some more spots for the fish to kind of hide out in. Um, and then today I got this big piece of, it's uh, it's fake rock it's not live rock at all it's, it's just a, it's you know I don't know how they make it but it's a piece of fake rock that's already pre-colored and everything like that so it, it looks it fits in with the rest of the uh, the rocks and it produces a bunch of caves in there and stuff like that so the fish are enjoying it hoping to give all the inhabitants some place to at least get uh, tucked away in and feel a little more secure and hopefully the clownfish uh, chill out a little bit. You can see they're chasing the, the firefish a little bit and the damsel. <laughs> Interestingly, they, they totally leave the cardinals alone. Not sure why. From day one when I put them in here, the cardinals, they the clownfish could care less. When I first put the, uh, the firefish in and the damsel, I put them in at the same time, they were going after the firefish. Then they started going after the damsel, and they kind of switch off here a little bit. And now, like I said, I just I just fed the tank. I just put this rock in like a, an hour ago, so I kind of got got everybody uh, agitated, <laughs> including the clownfish. So they're a little they're a little peeved right now. But otherwise, everything's doing good. Uh, another addition here, I put in a little bit of my. Uh, what's it called? Red grape algae that I had in the refugium. It looked nice enough that I thought I'd uh, stick it into the tank here and decorate a little bit. So that's it for now. I'll let you know how uh, everybody settles out, including the clowns. Hopefully they chill out a little bit and uh, leave all the other fish alone. Until next time.